And you never know, you know, what life's going to bring you, you know, if you don't have children. People um, must ask you all the time. They ask me all the time, when am I going to have children? And, and it's not like I don't want to have children. It's just that opportunity's never, you know, been there for me. And, and I just think how different my life would have been. Like Teresa, I mean, she might not have been Prime Minister. You know, her mm. life probably would have taken a whole different direction had she had children. So you just never know. You just mm. kind of, you can make as many plans as you want, but you, ultimately you don't know what life's going to throw at you yeah. at the end of the day. Do you feel pressure? Do you feel like you're um, under pressure? I feel like there was a time when I really wanted to get married and have children, but, you know, I mean, my, my dad got um, very ill when I was engaged to be married, and I was very close to getting married, and uh, he was diagnosed with lung cancer, and as soon as he got lung cancer, my whole focus went from planning a wedding to then just spending every minute I could with my father. That's all I wanted to do, and it just, you know, it kind of was a real strain on our relationship because all of a sudden my fiancé was like, well, hang on, I'm like the centre of attention. And all of a sudden he became like so far down Good on the pecking order. Good job, got rid of him then. Well, th this, <laughs> this is the thing. This is it, isn't it? say you know that it's very easy for, for people to be around you when everything's good and you know you're living a lovely life yeah. and and then as soon as something you know real life happens you that's kind of test, you really know yeah, yeah, yeah that is the test and yeah that that's what mm. kind of I do think broke women up get ultimately. more judged when they don't have children because if you think about it we, we you don't really ask men no, no. that you don't yeah. not, you don't constantly say you know, are you going to have children? Are you going to have to... It, it's almost like a, a sort of a thing that people, I think, feel defines women. Mm. I think also because mm. men can go on forever, can't they? Women have only got a certain yeah. amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some can. <laughs> you know what I mean. Well, well, you're lucky, Linda. <laughs> Body clocks, you know, pack up at a certain age. There's goes yeah. on forever. Shut up, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> like, people say to me, you're going to freeze your eggs, but I don't know about all that. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I, I just I always thought of doing everything quite naturally. And if, you know, yeah. if God intends me to have a child, I'll have one. You know, let Mother Nature take yeah. its course. I'm not quite sure if I want all that we, intervention, We talked really. about egg freezing recently, actually, because I sort of thought that was like a, you know, totally successful. Mm. And actually, statistically... Even if you've done that, it's still mm. quite low in terms of a success rate. Yeah, it's not like the sort of the magic thing that everybody thinks. And that's really? scary then, isn't it? Because if you do that and then it doesn't work out, then, yeah. That's... What about you? Do you feel pressured to be married? And... Um, do you know what? I think it would be nice, but... Um... As I get older, I realise it's not the be-all and end-all. It's not something that I'm kind of pressuring my boyfriend <laughs> to, like, propose to me or anything. Like, I joke about it, like, I've proposed to him and he's proposed to me. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I, d I do believe in the ritual of it. I do believe in, you know, kind of building a life with someone. And I would love that, because I like having a companion. We could be your bridesmaids. You could be my bridesmaids, <laughs> yeah. Like, it'd be a nice party, but... <laughs> I don't know, there's so many other things I need to think about. I think about my work and my house and... Do you know what I mean? I'm a grown-up. I don't have that romantic vision of, like, being in a white dress walking down the aisle, you know. I've but had quite a few boyfriends. Are... I'm not going to look too much like love. a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be like the virgin bride or anything. But do people mean? ask you all the time? Um, I think they stopped asking when they realised, yeah, that yeah, it probably yeah. wasn't going to happen. And don't get me wrong, I love going to weddings and I get really emotional. I always cry at weddings. Um, what do you mean it probably isn't going to happen? Well, I just... <sighs> I just don't think it's something that's really high on my list of mm. things to do because I think then it comes like, do I start a family? And, and I think at the moment, I'm just so loving my independence. I'm very independent. I'm in a relationship, but I'm very independent. I stand on my own two feet. And I think it's more not the marriage. It's more kind of joining my life with somebody. It's like I like the companionship, but I don't know if I want like the whole thing mm. you know so it's you know it's complicated i think it's a very modern thing now actually i think yeah. there's more and more you know yeah. young women like you who yeah i mean just don't don't need it or yeah, don't i mean i bought my it. own house do i want to give half of that away if it doesn't work out <laughs> 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 do you know what i mean i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm a bit like that's i have hilarious <laughs> <laughs> your boyfriend's now at home packing <laughs>